Hello, and welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest IX Sentinels of the Starry Skies. And in this episode, I'll be completing more extra quests. So without further ado, it's time to get into it, and I've managed to get the quest to the west of uh, Gleba, because it basically has to be night time, which is annoying, but you know. Hey, you there, you can see me, can't you? Great, listen, I need your help. 120 years back, I had a row with my wife, and she kicked me out. I ended up dying here at this poisoned oasis. I know there isn't much you can do about that, but there is something else you can help me with. There's a family heirloom of mine that's supposed to be hidden in a grotto somewhere with lots of water flowing through it. My dad always said I should be go there and find it if I was ever in trouble, but I died before I had the chance and I've going, been going nuts ever since wondering what it was. I can't rest until I find out. You've obviously been sent here for a reason. I reckon this must be it. What do you say? Will you go and find it for me? A watery grotto, thank you. Oh, fantastic. You can have the heirloom when you find it. I've got no use for it. I just want to know what it is. It's got a watery grotto to go to. I've got a scalloper to go after. I've got 28 quests left to do. I've also got 181 I need to get done, but anyway... I'm going to go for a scalloper first, I think. Um, anyway, let's have a look at the Godod Treasure Nips. Oh yes, and I now know out of what ones in this list is the Dragon Quest V final boss. I'm not going to say, but oh, he's a beast. Anyway, let's go for a scalloper. It would be helpful if I knew the drop, wouldn't it? From a scalloper. Fencing jacket and tactical vest. Here we go. Let's get to it. And it's an icy one. I mean, I could have tried to knock out both if I got a watery one, but anyway, I could get, I could find new enemies that I just didn't find before when I was in these icy dungeons, but I doubt it. It's just Candy Bells, Grim Reapers, and the White Emperors that you get that I would have knew. Whatever. Not on max level, I don't need to deal with you. Your thoughts be gone. Yeah, Panacea, fantastic. Well, some people pronounce it as Panacea. Whatever floats your boat, I guess. So, as I said, I want this done. I want this playthrough done by uh, the 28th of June. I've got two weeks today. But from today, I am off college for a week until week on Monday. And then I'll be going back for any time up from... The Wednesday or the Friday. I don't know if I've got Thursday and Friday in. But it definitely goes up to Wednesday. Because I've, I've heard the week's going to work. But you know. I'll probably do a stream and a video of this. On each day. So if that is the way it is. You've got the five days there. I've, I've faced that before. And the ten days. I've got fifteen episodes to get this done. Because I've got 10 days, uh, including today, before I go back on that Monday. And then I've got 5 days there, so I've got 15 episodes to get, what, like 28 quests done. And then all the legacy maps, as well as show off, um, getting all upgrades, getting all the um, items and stuff. But that should take like an episode, especially if I just speed it up. Anyway, that is not going to be a blight night. I highly doubt that. Get a lot of astral plumes. Anyway, that's going to be a dead end down there, I think. Hello, Cannibal. How do you diddly do? That's one down. And yeah, if you critical hit, it makes the Cannibal's rage even easier. Otherwise, you hit them with lovely, jubbly magic. 
Oh, yes. I mean, you get um, trolls that have the same function. If you crit either them or just an enemy in the battle, you know, it sends them a bit... A bit wappy. And I've got two grotto-orientated quests that I'd like to get both of them done this episode. You know, I don't want any messing around. I don't want any bad luck when it comes to encounters, yada, yada. Anyway, I skimmed past that cannibal. Can you go in, please? Thank you. That's what she said, but never mind. There's the White Emperor. It's a very big deal in Dragon Quest V, actually. Um, it's a very tough enemy. I mean, they're much stronger in that. They've got a lot of health. Um, at least the first forms of them on the mountains to Grand Varnia are annoying, but the ones in the final dungeon aren't too bad. And I mean, I've actually had a few attempts at the final boss, and um, I'm going to have to grind a bit. Um, and I know it's definitely the final boss. They're not, they're not putting a good old twisty-twisty on it. There's no way it isn't the final boss. And plus, I know anyway, because one of the legacy bosses is named after that said one, so it definitely is anyway. Do you know what? Let's save it. Let's not mess around. Let's just take on this bitch, shall we? Yep, yep, yep. Zenus, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Not me. Jay, excuse me if I don't speak too much, but my voice is going. Because when I went for my exams, like, everybody was ill. Because they all... Well, I'm, I'm assuming they all panicked over it. And it's just making me ill, well, making me have a sore throat now. From like Tuesday or Wednesday, which is like 24 to 48 hours before what people were worrying. I just take a pinch of salt. And then now I'm paying for it just because I had, because uh, obviously I had to be in the same room as them for the exam. This has caused me to get a lovely sore throat. I mean, this morning I was fine. I think it was on the way there where it started to, uh get bad but never mind do not there's no point umphin spike she's going to be healing soon anyway most probably bam 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 ha ha you can't hurt me I am a god. I have ascended to godly status. See, I still ain't found a bird of Teradis or a Master Musifer. And that's the only thing I won't be able to do. Show off all of the um, all of the enemies in the bestiary because it's practically impossible. It's like ridiculous. So yeah, there'll be a like a tiny amount of quests that I won't be able to do, but it's just the way it's going to have to be. Lovely. And there's, whip, and there's the prayer of Pearl. Now we need a watery one. I mean, Marsh, maybe. Maybe. Yep. Banged it. This is where I started to get King Cure Slimes for the first time in the actual grottoes itself, I believe. Anyway, look at that. Cure Slimes, bloody manguinis. They're bringing out all the big guns. Anyway, I'm not going down narrow pathways. That's the uh, weaker version of the Abyss Diver. That's a crab -a that's another crab I'd ever do. Let's hope it's night time by the time I uh, 
go to hand in the family heirloom. It should be. And I believe this is a Traumanator. Because I remember I was like excited. I was like, oh yes. Water dungeon. High level. It's got to be something good. And I got a Traumanator and I was like, mm. it's a meh from me. But then again, it might have been the first time I got the Traumanator and I might have wanted it. I don't remember though. That's how long it's been. Oh, lovely. Massive manky mud. Can you stop like blocking off the stairs, please? Thank you. Dude. There's a shadow skeleton. Lovely jubbly. You're actually gonna go up. Don't come at me. Don't do that. Don't try it. There he is. Good old beautiful King Cure Slime. Let's not touch that whirl. Nearly touched that Stentorian then. And of course, this is where I'm lacking in the monster department. The watery dungeons. I mean, the fiery ones I've got a few of. But the water one is lacking a lot. It's just, thanks to the one with Greenar, I got a few. But it still was nowhere near enough. Hello, Abyss Diver. How do you do? Thank you for getting in my way. Much appreciated. You all appreciate it. Wow, so much damage. Lovely jubbly. Dun 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 dun. Look at that beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Oh no, it was bloody lucid. Why, hello there. Time to kill you because you're a son of a bitch. I did save it, right? I mean, it's a watery dungeon nonetheless, so it's fine. I don't need to save it against this bitch, he's dead. Before he could even say cheerio. Oh no, he's not going to die that quick, but you know. You do that, mate. You do that. Ha! Come at me, I dare you. That did, that did hurt. That was a yowie wowie moment. <laughs> Pardon me. Jesus. Really, use Fandango before oomph, but usually you'd go after Aiden. Of course, the order gets messed up on purpose, do you? You cannot break through. That is the god tier overpowered shield. Like, do you not understand? That's why it's called god tier. In my books, anyway. Gonna get get mugged off. I didn't even use frizzle on you. Get mugged off. Lovely. Oh, it was a nice old ring. Oh, anyway, Platinum Path of Dread, that'll be one of those ruin ones. I don't think I want to go in a ruins one anymore, because I don't think I'm going to get anything that's actually needed. Anyway, Lonely, Clo Look, Lonely Coast. Lonely Coast isn't too far away from Gleaver. It's just upwards. I don't know why it went to the right. Never mind. It still should be night time. Day time. Hello there, me old buddy, me old pal. Oh, you're back. It's so nice to see a friendly face. So, how did it go? Did you find my family heirloom? What was it? I can't wait to find out. Hmm, a letter and a funny little ring, eh? Well, well, I suppose I'd better read the letter, hadn't I? My dear son, if you're reading this, you've probably had a row with your wife and run off here to get away from her. Here's what to do now. First, have a good cry. Next, take this full moon ring. Get down on bended knee and beg her for forgiveness. If that doesn't work, there's nothing else for it but to grab hold of her, start bawling and not let go until she forgives you. Son, you must never disobey your wife. That's the secret that's kept the men of our family out of trouble for generations. If you disobey her, you'll never get back ten times the trouble you gave. Never forget that. Good luck. Love, Dad. 
So I wasn't the only one. Dad went through all the same problems I did and this and his dad before him. But I'm the lucky one. I don't have to apologise even if I wanted to. I couldn't. The old battle axe is long gone. Ugh, I'm 120 years in the clear. I've never been so glad to be dead. Wahaha, I win. Oh, and here, as promised, the heirloom is all yours. Go on, take it. You've more than earned it. Lovely. So now I'm going to talk to uh, Plato. This this Pavo. But Plato sounds better. Cause, well, Plato's like the philosopher of some kind. But, you know. I see you've acquired a prayer pearl. pearl. I thank you, Phantom. Yet the stars bid us do more. It glitters yet. It asks that the prayer pearl that has the power to change the Celestian's very fate be delivered unto mighty Celestria. Phantom, will you continue the answer to the stars calling? I thank you, Phantom. Now go forth and deliver the prayer pearl unto mighty Celestria. She bides in the realm of the Almighty. Tread carefully in her heavenly domain. I cannot accompany you, though my thoughts surely will. May luck travel with you, Phantom. Now, as I said, all I know is that is the character you get by the end of this. But anyway. No, that's not what I wanted to press. No. Yes. Let's go to the house of the gods themselves. I mean, you always get god godly places like this. I mean, you get havens above in DQ11. I can reveal that now, I guess. I mean, you know, that doesn't really give anything away. It's just a place in the sky. You got kind of L heaven in Dragon Quest V, which kind of acts as like the go-to. Anyway, Phantom, I have been expecting you. The glistering of a certain star brought you to me, did it not? And in your hand, I see you carry a prayer pearl. So it was as I thought. The glistering star was him. The star spake to me thus. I wish Phantom to revisit one of my most significant memories. He must deliver the prayer pearl to a certain someone. That is what it told me. I beg of you, Phantom. Heed the star's call. I will use my powers to deliver you into the memory of which the star speaks. We travel now to the realm of memory. Remember, the prayer pearl has the power to change the Celestian's very destiny. Now close your eyes, my child. Sleep. Sleep. I don't actually know what happens. Anyway, here we go. Back in time. Corvus and Achilla. You still visit that village, Corvus? Why do you favour the mortals so? Did you forget that the teachings speak of the Almighty's great displeasure with his creation? It is not for us to know the ways of the Almighty, but I trust in the mortals. I understand now that our duty as Celestians is to believe in them and to guide them on the path of righteousness. But I also understand that there are those who believe we shall have no more to do with them than is absolutely necessary. You must decide for yourself what you believe, Akira. Corvus. This is when he was a teacher, clearly. Hmm. You are mortal. How does a mortal come to be in such a place as this? But you would, but were you truly mortal, and you would not be able to see me? Is this a dream? Hmm. Be this illusion or actuality, it would seem that you have business with me. Pray, how may I be of assistance? For me, but it is too beautiful. I cannot accept such a gift. You say it has the power to change one's destiny. <laughs> so this is some manner of jest. I see. Very amusing. Very well. Since you have gone to such lengths, I accept your mysterious gift. I will keep it with me always. Thank you. Corvus is not an easy master to follow. I do not know if I am able to abide by his every teaching. There is no other in the observatory who comforts so freely with mortal kind. Should the day come for me to take a pupil of my own, I shall instill in them first and foremost the ways of the observatory. And that is of course me. But this is like years in the past. Now what? Welcome back to us, Phantom. It seems you were able to fulfil the wishes of the Glistering Star. Yes, the Glistering Star was Corvus. 
He had wished to make amends to the pupil whose life was lost as a result of his actions. He had wished to rescue Aquila from the past. This was his message to me. You offered the prayer power into Aquila, and thus was his destiny altered. How did it change? This you must discover for yourself. To have heeded the wishes of Corvus after all he has done, you have shown great kindness, Phantom. Thank you. I mean, I guess it's kind of fitting that I've left this uh, extra quest. It's the last one to do. Because <coughs> I'm going to... I think I need to head to Angel Falls, which is back all the way to where it began. Of course, that was where a killer was like, oh, his teachings of Celestrian, and he faced the cruel cumber and the bloody slimes. <coughs> Pardon me, and then you learn the way of the battle. Lovely jubbly. Let's go. Let's go to the waterfall, because that's where I crashed. <laughs> Pardon me, sorry, I can't help that. Jesus Christ. Aha! Here he is. God, I haven't heard this music in a while. Well met, Phantom. I have been keenly awaiting your arrival. Hmm? You are surprised at my appearance? Yes, I too have become mortal. Yep, obviously. Yep. At the very moment, King Godwin and I pierced each other's bodies. The jewel I was given once by a mysterious traveller began to glow. And I prayed, I prayed that I might inflict no more sadness on those dearest to me. Anyway, this is this is a Dragon Quest V reference now, I think of it, where you go back into the past. Well, I mean, in Dragon Quest V, you go back in the past and swap something. But here, you just go back in the past. But anyway, yeah, you get what I mean. It's a nice little reference. The gemstone crumbled and my life was saved. But after departing the Gittish Empire, I was not free to ascend to the heavens with my fellow Celestrians. A killer, Celestrian and Guardian, you must live out the time that remains to you as a member of mortal kind. Thus did Celestria bid me, and thus must I now live. Since arriving in this realm, I have understood at last. I, know, I now know why Corvus, my teacher and master, devoted so much of his time and attention to the mortal realm. And I know also that the mysterious visitor who came to me that time was you. Thank you, Phantom. Let us watch over the mortal realm together, now and for everyone. Lovely. I mean, it's a bit too late now, because you're getting me like level 60, I think, but, but you know. Anyway. Of course, I need to do 181. But when a star wishes upon you, does this finish now? So let's go to Plato. I mean Pavo, but I do mean Plato because I say it for a laugh. But you know, I thank you for bringing my brother here, Phantom. The killer and I were born in the same moment. We are twins. But we are as different as day and night. While Killer defies his teacher's guidance, I believed in the philosophies of Corvus. To a faith in mortals, to guide them, that is the Celestrian's true purpose. It was through my faith in Corvus's teachings that I found the courage to push ajar the gate of Celestrian fate. And I believe in his word to this day. Now the rapport all is open, I have no intention of closing it again. So my fellow Celestrian, my hallowed commission is at long last fulfilled. Phantom, for the sake of all mortals, I beseech you. Lean on my brother and myself whenever you are in need, for such would have been the will of Corvus with this unfailing love of mortal kind. So I'm going to check how you do quest 181 and then I'll be back, so see you in a sec. I now know what to do.
So I'm going to change Phantom quickly to a mage. It's going to be maging. And it seems I've got like all the equipment now that I need. Basically, I have to dress like Boria. I don't know if you remember Boria. I don't. I faintly remember Boria, but anyway, let's let's look for his good old stuff, shall we? Anyway, I'm sure any of you that have played um, Final Fantasy VIII will be aware of Trode Face. You got Kanuk, you got Ashlyn, you got Millie, you got Kaifa, you got Jess, Carver, Nera, Bianca, of course. Dragon Quest V. She's like the most. She's like the Tifa of Dragon Quest. Right, so it is a green coat I'm waiting for. That's Estard. It's not right. Boria's robe. I need his bits. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is fantastic, trying to find the right stuff. These Boreas boots, there we go. Look at me, I look so amazing. Look at Boria, Boria's amazing. Give it a lick. Mm. It tastes just like raisins. Good heavens, if it isn't the great Boria. My Boria, it's an honour, a real honour. Look at that refined white hair, that fantastic flowing green robe. It really is the supreme source for Boria we've read so much about in all these books. I can hardly believe me eyes. You're an inspiration to the both of us, going off adventuring at such an advanced age like you did. You really are here, you must have had those as a memento of our mating. I'm sure someone as great as you will find a use for them. Right, so now I'm going to, um, of course, change back. So, of course, a minstrel. Re-equip everything automatically. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Aiden, Sage, an onion. Of course, there are better stuff he can equip. Of course, he needs the ones. Not whips, ones, here we go. Can anything best the Sage's Staff? I don't think it can, can it? Oh no, definitely. Aurora Staff. Look at that, beautiful. Anyway. Do 
Lovely. 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 And that'll do. There we go. So where do I want to go? Oh, yes, of course. Gettingham Palace. Try and get the Tyrannosaurus Rex and deal with that bitch if I get the quest here. It depends what I have to do if I have to defeat him with something stupid like Zam. Which would be virtually impossible to predict, but you know. Where am I going? The book is up here. I always do this. I always do it. One time I didn't do it. It didn't matter because, yeah. Oh, it's you. There was something I had to um, tell you. Oh, wait, I remember. It's awful. His page is missing. Tyrannosaurus Rex's page is gone. Hmm, who is Tyrannosaurus Rex? Oh, he's only a rampant god of destruction. I sealed away a few hundred years back. And while I've been here snoozing away among my pages, he's torn himself out and run off somewhere. His page is actually a treasure map. If someone were to follow it to the grotto and Tyrannosaurus Rex found them, then, hey, you're pretty tough, aren't you? <coughs> Pardon me. I need you to find the map, follow it, and take out Tyrannosaurus Rex once and for all. You will? Thank you, thank you so much. You really are supreme sage. We've been friends a while now. It must be, what, 700 years since we rode that fireball around the world? What? Oh, was that someone else? Hmm. But I thought, bah, never mind that now. Good luck, okay? Probably a reference to one of the older dragon quests. <laughs> but I can't think what it could be. I have no idea. Anyway, let's have a look at what uh, Tyrannosaurus Rex uh, actually has. Gold bar. So I have to look with treasure map that awards a gold bar. Uh, looks like I can't get any uh, earlier than the beastly ones here. Fantastic. See, I'm going to make this last quest and then boom. It'll be done. I mean, four quests to get done today will be very good anyway. Of course, yep, yep, yep. I want to get running, but I can't, right? Yep, too stunned. Take advantage, leg it, go now. Run, 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 as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm gingerbread man. Why are the king crabs already? That's not very nice. I feel like there was much potential to miss out on a lot of stuff here. I feel like I've prob I probably could have missed out on some enemies around in this dungeon. I mean, you do get the birds here, but I doubt you get the bird of terror this here. It looks like you'll get them in the volcano ones, because the description is something fiery. And it's like the Master Musifer is one of those... Obviously, it's a master version of the Musifer, which is a devil... Devil horse thingy. I'll, t I'll, I'll take you on, I don't care. Bring it on, you twit. The god tier weapons are too strong for the terror troll. G 
Jesus, look at all that. Silky dodging. Silky lay Go away, slugger slot. Does it look like I want to face you? No, it doesn't. Uh, to be honest, I don't really like sages. Um, I mean, they're alright. I mean, rap's quite good in Dragon Quest XI, but... I mean, well, I, w I was going to say something then, and then I was going to say L, but then you can't use those two characters together because something happens, but then that would be spoilers. But yeah, like, the I don't use rap because, well, originally, there were two characters that I would use together. I can't really say anything else because that would be spoilers. But never mind. And even after said event, I still don't bother using Rab. I replaced them with either Jade. Or Eric. And I always have, obviously the hero. I have a bit of Hendrik in. And swap between Jade and Eric and have Serena in. Boom. That's my team. I'm, I mean, this is Dragon Quest 9, not 11, but, you know. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Uh, this is for no gain whatsoever. This is just to defeat the battle and continue onwards. There's no need to fight these battles because I've got all the experience I need. I feel like every time I use Vanish, I lose it practically instantly. Hello there, Metal King Slime. Oh my god, I've still got Shame on Goo to do. I, no, I need to remember the other two for Shame on Goo. I'll have to do that off street, off stream, off video. If it's ones I haven't, if it's like enemies I haven't even found yet, I won't be happy, but you know. That's it, just put a stale whale there. I cannot move out of the way. I, thought, I can't dodge that. You've seen how big it is. It's enemy version of the bloody Leviathan, for God's sake. Yeah, if you hadn't noticed, they did that a lot with quite a lot of the uh, grotto enemies. Anyway. So yeah, the Sage focuses on a lot of uh, singular target uh, magic other than Kaboomal. Because it has Kazamal, which is a very powerful move. <laughs> Pardon me. Anyway. I don't know why it's a bloody quest just to take on Tyrannosaurus Rex. Just literally, just defeat him, nothing else. No special gimmick, just defeat Tyrannosaurus Rex. Really? I open a chest, you mother effer. Oh, pardon me, anyway, kaboom, or why not? Come on. No, what are you doing? Stop. Stop. Wow. What underwhelming damage. Nearly dead. And sit down. Again, this is for no gain whatsoever. It's just progression. Oh, for God's sake. Don't do that again. Thank you. Hello, Slyonheart. I've already faced you now. He wasn't as rare as I remember. He was, he was in a few different ones. I definitely didn't come to this one to do that. But anyway. Bring it on. He's not st stupid Supreme Stage. He is, he is a god. He's basically a god. Like, don't diss him. How dare you. So 
Of course, Magic Burst is a move that Green Isle uses, which is very annoying, but you know. Bam. Bam. Wow, fantastic. A gigantic ball of darkness cannot do that much damage. To a god, basically. To a god. Well, I mean, he's kind of a god of darkness. Well, not really. The Great Demon Lord is in a legacy map somewhere. Um, by the name of... But I'm not going to say. So, you know. Boom, 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 boom. Yep, 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 yep. Get Kazam old bitch. I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. I mean, Sage is balanced, so it's not as good. You might as well have a fully fledged healer and a fully fledged magical dam. Uh, well, what's the word? Well, basically, basically a fully fledged white mage and a fully fledged black mage. You know, I I never really rocked with red mages in Final Fantasy. Only ever useful in Final Fantasy three, to be honest. Only up to a certain point, because just you don't want a balance between both. You'd rather have two separate characters. That are good, that are really good in one, and then the, the other one that's really good in the other. It's more beneficial that way, and he's got to be nearly dead. For the next two turns, I say. Gotta be. Within the next turn, it's gotta be. You're copying me. Yeah, that's what happens. I've got shields that can absorb magic. Yeah, mate. Don't mess with me. Of course, he had peanuts for health. Lovely. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So now we fly to Gittingham. Let's go. And hopefully I'll never have to come back to Gittingham ever again. Because, I mean, there ain't actually many extra quests left now. I like how Sage does get one extra in every other class, though. But anyway... Oh, it's you. Hello. I'm a bit mm, tired at the moment. Just let me sleep. What? You took down Tyrannosaurus Rex? Who's that? And what an absurdly contrived name. Wait, I remember. You really beat him? That's incredible. Not even I managed that. Here, you deserve it. Lovely. Well, you've certainly shown yourself to be a supreme enough sage to save the world. Looks like I've got no worries now. Assuming he only needs beating the once, that is. No, ignore me, I'm being silly. No, I know the world's in safe hands, I can finally get a good rest. I'll leave things with you, okay? Good night. 24 quests left. Look at that. 7 left. It's of course, Seaverns for Plum Duffer. Who's a pretty boy is Bird of Terror. This Tones to the Bones is the other one from rust to rich is the only one i don't know about yet and poison needle one owl one is uh the master musifer now the christina must cake one i think it's got something to do with um funny enough christmas cake um but i might be able to go over and have a look now actually um because i know where she is in bloomingdale because if I can knock this quest out, I can go back to the uh, bog standard quests after that. Oh, no, not quite here. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. 
Yep, 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 yep. I've got some cake ready. Because I kind of just got it off of the thing. Or well, I believe I've already got them. Because there's a code to get Duke DQVC stuff. Because obviously you can't actually do it on an emulated version. So you can get those special items on here. It's not cheating. It's just for the purpose of showing off the quest. But anyway, I need to talk to the guy here. Warrior. Who's trained as a warrior? I, f I forgot. I think it's Phantom. Yes. Just need to be a warrior for whatever the quest is. At last, a decent warrior reached level 15. Have you? Great, that's just what I need. I'm Kevo, by the way. I've come here looking for decent warriors to help me out. See, I overheard some monsters gabbing. Talking about how they couldn't get enough of the taste of mortals and they're going to raid me village and eat the ruddy lot of us. I couldn't go back there and tell everyone that would make them jumpier than a cartload of ruse, so I came here to get help instead. So, uh, how tough are you then? Can you give me a quick demo of your warrioring skills? If you could take out two monsters, any will do, with regular critical hits, then I'd know you were the warrior for the job. Oh, but I couldn't just have you smack them, silly. You know, rile them up first, get them good and angry, then clobber them with a critical. What do you reckon, game for a challenge? Good on you, mate. I'll give you something for your time. Alright, so, if we look at, not this... Just quickly have a look at the quest list. So of course, so to attract the attention of 20 beasts by angering them. And then get two monsters really angry and then finish them off with regular critical hits. So I'm guessing there is a way to like piss them off. I don't know about it yet, but anyway. I'm going to fly to Svein Dimples and do this. And then I can do, try and get some of these other quests done afterwards oh welcome to Chris Kringle's house little boy oh my my what delicious looking Christmas cake you have there hmm I love Christmas cake you and young Christine are certainly a generous pair aren't you hmm what good little children you've been but I wonder did you bring me Christmas cake because you thought I was a certain other festive gentleman I expect it's it's because I live up here in the snow like this isn't it well I hate to disappoint you but I'm nothing more than a merry old snow dwelling fellow now now don't look so sad little one I'm sure you'll find our festive friend eventually I wonder, yes, I was just heading off to visit him myself, I'll deliver it for you. You'll just leave it with me. Leave it with me, I'll sure the freshest friend gets his cake. You must let Christina know that it's safe in my hands. I'll end it in a minute, but of course, any opportunity to do extra quests, I'll, I'll do it, oh yeah. Guess what? Guess what? I met him. I met him. I met Santa, and he gave me a present. And he said that I was a good little girl. And he, and he, and he said the cake was really delicious. Oh yes, and he gave me this too. He said that this was a present for you here. And this is a present for me to say thanks. This really precious thing I told you about. There we go. Right. So, of course, in the extra quests, I've got Plum Duffer, which I cannot do yet. Shame on Goo that I will try and finish off. And in the normal quest, I've got Horse Whisperer. I've got to defeat 20 beasts by angering them. Um, and, yeah, I guess I have to find a good way to do that. Um... And you have to calm them down again with Soothsayer. And then we've got bring them back from the brink with HPV in five separate battles. And then get, get too much just really angry and then finish them off with regular critical hits. 
But anyway, that marks the end of this episode of my playthrough of Dragon Quest Nine: Sentinels of the Starry Skies. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. But until then, with a massive thumbs up, we'll see you in two hours. Goodbye, and good night.